And I'm going to turn the floor over to Nali Shabata. Welcome, Nali. Uh, is, it, is it okay now? <laughs> My video works better. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. It looks All right. good. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Thank you very much uh, for watching my presentation and coming to my presentation. I'm now Shvata. Um, before starting the, my presentation, I would like to ask you some questions. Of course, you don't need to answer, but please just ask yourself those questions. First, uh, do you learn any second or foreign language? Why do you learn the language? How often do you write in your second or foreign language? And why do you write in the target language? And if you are uh, teachers, do you teach any writing courses? And what is what are your main teaching objectives in the writing course. So it's similar because of technical issue. I, I'm sorry, I would like to turn off the video. And my last question, this PowerPoint slide is, do you think your language learning motivation and writing motivation are somewhat related? And then I would like to talk about the correlation between language learning motivation and writing motivation. And here's the outline. Let's just review, research questions, method, result, discussion, and conclusion. Now, let's just review. And of course, my main topic is motivation. And motivation can be defined as reasons to behave or to get engaged with some activities. And for teachers, motivation is a most complex and challenging issue, right? It's very challenging to fully explore learners' motivation or writers' motivation. And Donya and Ryan in 2015 said, uh, motivation provides the primary impetus to initiate L2 learning and later the driving force to sustain the long, often tedious learning process. And probably because of this uh, phenomena, uh, so many researchers explore motivation in applied linguistic or second language acquisition course. And motivation types, there are also many motivation types depending on activities. So for instance, generally speaking, language learning motivation is a very uh, popular and famous types of motivation. And depending on the activity, of course, there is a reading motivation, speaking motivation, listening motivation, and writing motivation. And of course, there are uh, many other types of motivation. And today, uh, as we, Oh no, uh, I would like to explore language learning motivation and writing motivation. And regardless of motivation types or regardless of activities, there are so many types of motivation, uh, but now I would like to focus on instrumental motivation and integrated motivation. So instrumental motivation is basically the motivation to get a better job, to get into college, or to get a salary bonus. On the other hand, integrated motivation is uh, usually defined <coughs> as to motivation to know more about the cultures or to get involved with the target language groups or to know better about the subject matter. And so many researchers in second language, I could, second language writing field uh, utilized motivation and writing achievement or writing proficiency. For instance, Hashman and Haydari, 2013, uh, 
conduct a research on the recall relation between writing language learning motivation and writing achievement. And there is a positive correlation between integrating motivation and writing achievement, but they couldn't find um, any correlation between instrumental motivation and writing achievement. Uh, however, Nasher and Kohyono 2017 found there is a relation, correlation, a significant positive correlation between writing achievement and language learning motivation. And regarding writing motivation and writing achievement to writing proficiency, uh, Kohyono and Rahayu 2020 found there is a high positive correlation between writing achievement and writing motivation. And uh, Sapt et al. also found significant positive correlation between these two variables. However, there is a research issue. Although some researchers use language learning motivation and writing achievement, and others utilize writing motivation and writing achievement. But do they actually, can, they, can these two variables be used interchangeably? Meaning language learning motivation could be used instead of writing motivation and vice versa. So I set up this research question. To what extent does language learning motivation correlate with writing motivation? Now, just talk about the teacher review. So, I would like to do the method section. And in this uh, research study, uh, 250 Japanese university students uh, took, uh, well, participated in this research study. And there's an age difference 18 to 22 years old. So, meaning the first year university students uh, to the fourth year. Uh, university students and their academic measure field vary. So some uh, measure in English language education, others laws, economy, business, technology, human relations, and psychology. And because in this time, this in this pre, uh, in this research study, I would like to uh, examine the general finding. I didn't explore the target language proficiency levels. And for data collection instrument and procedures, students uh, took an online questionnaire via Google Form, and the questionnaire had six Likert scales. And for language learning motivation, I adopted Donye and Taguchi. And for writing motivation, I adopted Graham et al. Uh, survey questionnaire. But before that, because so many researchers suggest that uh, regardless of situation, uh, researchers pilot the instrument. I instrumented, I piloted the survey questionnaire with 30 people. And there was a, uh, all the criteria was, uh, had a high reliability, uh, which I would write on the proceed, uh, proceedings. And for Donny and Taguchi, there are actually so many motivation types covered, but I mainly uh, utilize two uh, motivation types, instrumentality and integrativeness. And Donny and Taguchi actually divided uh, instrumentality. <laughs> that is not to fail courses. And Sorry, Nanias, yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I think we lost audio. Could you repeat that last part, please? Okay. Uh, regarding language learning motivation, Donia and Taguchi was adopted, and although they uh, tried to cover various types of motivation, uh, in this research study, I mainly explored two model motivation types, which is instrumentality and integrativeness, and they also Father categorized uh, instrumentality into two types, which promotion and prevention. And pre promotion uh, includes something like to work globally, 
and prevention includes such as not to fail courses. On the other hand, integrativeness, uh, general integrativeness, how try to uh, get involved with uh, target culture and travel orientation. So how interested uh, learners would like or how much learners would like to uh, travel abroad or how interest, how much they are interested in cult other cultures and what kind of attitude they have um, to the target language community. So those were categorized into integrativeness. And regarding Graham et al, um, they also try to explore two main motivation types, instrumentality and integrativeness. Instrumentality includes grades to get better grades and competition to know to perform better than others. And integrativeness also include two uh, subcategories, curiosity to learn about things uh, interesting to writers or involvement to imagine, understand, target context and content. And for data analysis instrument procedures, I utilize JASP, uh, which is a computer software to analyze quantitative data. And for that, I utilize descriptive, stati I utilize descriptive statistics and Kendall style correlation coefficient test. And for correlation coefficient benchmark, I adopted events. So here is the uh, uh, criteria for that. So, well, if generally speaking, if uh, the result had higher than 7.7, 7, uh, it's considered as reliable or it has a strong correlation. Uh, below that, other in this benchmark 0.60 is included, that's not fully um, supported, that's not fully valid. And these days, p-values are criticized significantly. So uh, some researchers uh, suggest quantitative researchers should use Bayesian statistics as alternatives. And Bayesian statistics can actually uh, estimate the degree of the evidence. So if the Bayesian factor had higher than um, 10, it's considered very strong for alternative uh, hypothesis, but if it's lower than one, it's considered as uh, no hype, well, supportive for no hypothesis. Now, uh, let's move to the results section. So for language learning motivation, uh, now the criteria had a uh, normal distribution as p-value of Shapiro Wilk showed, uh, if these point, this had a higher than uh, 0 0.05, it basically considered as a normal distribution, but because all of them are much lower than the benchmark, none of them could be categorized as normal distribution. And for me, although the participants varied, uh, the mean value was somewhat high. So that was actually uh, surprising to me because in many universities, uh, technology measures are not very interested in language learning. And on that hand, writing motivation, again, uh, none of them had a no distribution. And compared to language learning motivation, as you can see, students had low writing motivation. Um, that was actually kind of understandable. <laughs> so many learners do not really like uh, writing activities. Uh, but yeah, the main point is that there's no uh, normal distribution. So we can't use the uh, uh, Well, 
I forgot the word. Well, we, we can't use the actual like main uh, inferential statistical testing. Now, I would like to move to the correlation findings. So correlation between lunch line motivation and writing motivation, especially instrumental motivation. Um, as you can see, the, there are some positive, weak, or moderate uh, correlations between language learning motivation and writing motivation. But as you can see, there's no uh, positive correlation between promotion and grades. So that's an important point to remember. But the other three categories, there uh, is a uh, some a positive correlation. So we might want to kind of think about it, uh, further explore uh, the reliability of these two variables. And regarding integrativeness, again, uh, there are some correlations between language learning motivation, integrativeness, and writing motivation. Um, but again, for travel orientation and curiosity, uh, there was no um, actually like it's there is a lower p value, but the base factor is really low. So if I just rely on p value, um, there is a positive, very, very, very weak. Uh, correlation between travel orientation and curiosity, but base factor is really low. So I considered this finding as no correlation. Uh, but the other three, all of them are very weak correlation between integrativeness and writing. Um, sorry, writing motivation and language learning motivation. And the other parts of integrativeness, uh, all of them had very weak or weak positive correlation between right, language learning motivation and writing motivation. Um, and base factors are somewhat high, especially cultural interest and curiosity or cultural interest and involvement. So it looks somewhat supportive. But now let's try to discuss or further consider these statistical findings. Uh, in terms of instrumental motivation, okay, promotion and competition, there is a weak correlation and promotion and grades, there was no uh, correlation. Okay, then How about promotion and instrumental motivation, gen generally instrumental motivation in writing motivation? Uh, because promotion and grades had a no correlation, I believe it's somewhat invalid to use them interchangeably. There was, um, I believe there was some risk to use uh, those two uh, terminologies or those two um, categories interchangeably. And how about prevention and grades or prevention competition? Okay, uh, there are some positive correlation like weak correlation or moderate correlation, but still it's not strong. So still somewhat invalid to use them. How about integrativeness? Um, Generally speaking, very weak uh, correlation was uh, detected. But again, because it's very weak correlation, still it's uh, risky to use them interchangeably. And for curiosity and travel orientation, travel orientation involvement, again, um, there, is, there was no correlation between integrated travel orientation and curiosity or very weak correlation between travel retention and involvement, again, it's invalid to use them interchangeably. 
and in coach interest and curious involvement again although there is or there are some weak correlation because again it's weak correlation between these two variables um, it's somewhat invalid to use them likewise um, attitude towards l2 community oh sorry i need to change that later uh, integrate motivation writing motivation again although there are some very weak correlations it's risky to use them interchangeably. But of course, we need to uh, understand or explore some limitations. Those two adapted survey questionnaires were, of course, utilized, designed, and utilized with different purposes. So, of course, it was preferable to design survey questionnaires for this specific research study. And I didn't. Um, examine the effect of English proficiency levels for the academic major factors, the age factors, gender factors. And other, well, as previous research studies report, there are some positive correlation between writing proficiency levels and uh, language learning motivation or writing motivation. I didn't uh utilized writing process levels writing achievement but to fully understand the uh findings uh, it would be preferable to utilize or explore writing process levels as well and conclusion so language line motivation and writing motivation are very difficult to use interchangeably so Depend, so it would be uh, preferable to examine both learners' language learning motivation, writing motivation, just in case in, for research purposes. And for writing teachers, if you would like to know uh, their motivation types, first, I would suggest writing teachers should decide the main purposes of the writing course. Is there, to help them to pass a writing test or is it to is it help is it to help them to be able to write uh, personal statements or cvs or those things and then please try to choose or decide specific sub variables you would like to examine then you can gain or you can collect much more reliable uh, data in terms of your language learners' motivation or your students' motivations. All right, so here are the references. And thank you very much for your attention.